Hey you, yeah, you watching this video right now. Are you having trouble finding that right texture pack to suit your Minecraft experience? Or maybe you wanted to hop on your favorite Minecraft world with your new texture pack, but you guys are wondering how? How exactly am I able to install texture packs on my Apple device? Well, don't worry, cause your one and only boy LavaSair77 is here to show you guys the perfect method on how to install texture packs for MCP on iOS. Let's get started in today's video. Hello everybody, this is your one and only boy level series in the 7 and in today's video guys we're going to be taking a look at how you guys can get texture packs in Minecraft Pocket Edition for iOS devices. Now I know a lot of you guys have just switched to an iPhone 12 or maybe you just upgraded your phone or got your very own first phone and currently you decided you're going to get an iOS device. So don't worry because this video I'm going to show you guys a perfect video for how to install texture packs in MCP. So it's actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple but I know the method for installing texture packs on iOS devices are a little bit different from installing texture packs on an Android Android device or a Windows 10 device. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys the way to install texture packs on iOS devices. So yeah, guys, we're going to be taking a look at that in today's video. And you guys can see I'm actually using iOS device right now. Now don't worry guys, this is not my phone. My phone is still Google Pixel 3 Android device in case you guys are wondering what phone I'm using. But yeah guys, instead of me rambling about all this stupid stuff, I'm just going to get started straight off from the video. See guys. The first thing you guys are going to need to do is go to MCPE DL. That is the, the best place you can find mods, whatever, texture pack, anything you want is MCPE DL. So we're going to load that. All right, so on this website, you guys can find a lot of stuff on how you guys can install mods and whatnot. So we're going to actually try to install a texture pack just for the video sake. And they have multiple different options of texture packs. So just for the video sake, we're going to actually choose a 32 by 32. Tech actually, no, you know what? Let let's see. So sometimes you're not going to see a 32 by 32. You should be able to find one, though. But yeah, let's let's take a look at the Darnos PVP texture pack. So you guys can see. This is the texture pack that we desire and you, this is the one that you want to install. So yeah, th this is what we're going to be using as an example for today's video. So you guys can see the this is the Darno's texture pack guys. I know it's amazing texture pack. <laughs> I don't know guys. I honestly don't care, but yeah, we're going to we're going to we're going to try to find a download button. So what you guys are going to do is look for the download button. And if you guys do not know, MCP DL has recently changed it where they actually do ads now. So yeah, guys, I know a lot of you guys don't want to you know deal with some crazy ads so some of their links will you know have ads some of them won't uh let's click on the download so whenever you want to download a, a mod or a texture pack it's right here it says downloads you're just going to click on that and it says you're leaving mcp deal and then you're just going to click on continue all right so you guys can see this is the darnos uh this is the darnos texture pack i'm not sure if that's how you say it so all you guys got to do is literally just download this and you're going to click on download. All right. And we are going to click on the download button and you guys can see it is a dot zip file. How are we going to extract that? So you guys, so generally you're going to get an MC pack file and all you guys got to do is tap on it and it should take you directly to Minecraft. But if you do for whatever reason, have a dot zip file, then I'm going to show you guys actually how you guys can extract it in iOS. So make sure you're on the latest version of iOS. I know a lot of you, not all of you guys are on it. Uh, but yeah, just, just make sure you're not on like a super old version or something. Cause this method is different. This is for the latest version of iOS. Now I know some of you guys don't want to update your iOS devices. I totally understand. Uh, but I, I'm, you know, I'm doing this for the people that haven't updated theirs. So yeah, I do apologize. So yeah, I guess you guys can see we, uh, this is, ex it's already extracted. Uh, it's the, whatever this is this is the darnos oh, what a weird name okay you're just gonna click on that and and now you guys can see it says importing started all right so what you guys are gonna do is if you ever encounter that error then you're gonna copy copy i'm gonna copy that and you're going to press the back button all the way until you see this thing right here. And you're going to click on, make sure you're on selected, make sure you have on my iPhone selected. You're going to go to Minecraft. You're going to go to games, com.mojang, and then you're going to click on re, you're going to look, scroll down until you find the resource underscore packs folder, which is right here. You're going to click on that and you are going to paste it right here. So you're going to click on this and you're going to click. You're going to hold down and click paste inside the resource pack folder. Now, if you are to go on Minecraft. 
click on settings go to global resources and you guys can see we successfully installed the texture pack now this is mainly this tutorial is mainly for ios 14 so yeah so then <laughs> you guys can see we have successfully got it we got the darnos texture pack it's 32 by 32 we're gonna click out on that and then you're gonna click on play and you guys can see our stuff has changed oh wow we're gonna click on play and it's also it's by this guy if you guys want And you're just gonna click on my world and yeah you are pretty much good to go you have successfully installed your very own texture pack in minecraft ios uh, so we'll wait for this to load all right so you guys can see this is the darnos texture pack and what we're gonna do is first up i'm actually need to set the time to day um do i have cheats enabled hold up do I, do I have cheats enabled let's let's see if we have our cheats enabled uh if we can go games and well, let's go to allow cheats there should be cheats allowed though you know what i'm pretty sure it's allowed so we're gonna click on this and i'm gonna set slash game mode one no wait what am i doing slash yeah. all right so you guys can see this is how the darnos texture pack does look pretty pretty cool stuff you guys can see it's really smooth actually i'm actually surprised this was classified as a 32 by 32 bit texture pack and for some weird reason this does not look 32 by 32 to me and also we are getting very little lag so i'm not sure if this actually is a 32 by 32 bit texture pack honestly it's still a pretty good texture pack regardless but yeah you guys can see this is the darno texture pack we successfully installed our very own texture pack in minecraft now i'm not sure why this texture pack does not have clouds but you know what it is what it is at least we got our texture pack installed and yeah, I'm not sure if that's a particular issue with this texture pack or whatnot, but yeah, you guys can see we have all our textures, and you can see we have all our swords, pretty much everything that you would want. Our swords are looking pretty cool. We got this shield. Let's put the shield in our hand and hold that out or hold this sword out. And yeah, you guys have your very own texture pack, and I'm not sure why this shield is all the way down here. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe that was actually intentional. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I think that was... So yeah guys, that is our texture pack. That is pretty much how you guys do it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys do like my channel, definitely do consider subscribing. If you guys want to see some more awesome, epic, amazing banger content, then don't don't worry guys. You guys will not regret it. But yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank each and every of you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out guys. See you and bye bye.